What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to show you an absolutely game-changing way to create content with ChatGPT using this custom GPT called the SEO Content Wizard. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to do is click on the GPT link that I've provided in the description and also in the comment section below. After accessing the SEO Content Wizard, we're going to click let's create some content for my website and the SEO Content Wizard will run you through several prompts and you just provide it with some information before we can start creating the content. I'm going to be using my digital marketing consulting website as an example, and I'm just taking the URL for my homepage and I'm going to provide it to the wizard. However, feel free to provide it with a blog post or a product page if that's what you're looking for. After the wizard crawls your website, it's going to provide you some more information based on its understanding. So it's going to take a look at who your audience is based on your homepage or whatever page you've provided, your brand voice, your unique selling proposition, your engagement objectives, and your tone and style. And this is going to ensure that the output that the content wizard creates matches your website and exactly the type of information your customers are interested in. Go through all five areas and ensure that it aligns with your own understanding of your website. If it does, great. If it doesn't, just tweak it a little bit before moving on. Your next step is going to be providing the content wizard with the keyword and the type of article that you want to write. Now, I already have what I want to write in mind. However, if you don't, I recommend checking out my video on how to create topical maps with ChatGPT. And this is going to provide you with a whole list of ideas that you should rank for based on the content that's already available of your website. So be sure to check that out after this video or pause it right here and then come back to this video. We'll be waiting. I told the wizard that I want to rank for a keyword content generations with AI tools. And because that's what this video is about, and it's also what my channel is about, it's going to be an important keyword for me to rank for. The content wizard is going to take the keyword that you've provided and then generate a list of NLP keywords that you should also incorporate throughout the writing process. For me, it generated 15 queries, but I've also gone through this and it's provided 30. So it really just depends on the length of the keyword that you've provided and the type of keyword that you provided. A long tail keyword like the one that I used might not generate a lot. However, if you're using a broad term keyword, that may generate a whole bunch of them. For our next step, we're going to provide ChatGPT with a list of links that we want to include throughout the article. And this is going to be the backbone of our internal linking structure. Now, if you don't have a list of links, what you can do is go to your XML sitemap, and that's just your URL slash sitemap.xml and that's going to provide you with a list, an updated list, of all of the URLs on your website. And from there, you can choose which ones you want to include. Now, I built a spreadsheet with all of the pages for this site, and it's still a new site, so I don't have a lot, and it makes it easier to manage. But you should also build something similar. That way, you can just simply copy and paste them the next time you go through this prompt. Once you've submitted your links, the wizard's next step is going to ask you for how long you want the article to be. And there are a couple of different options, but feel free to go off the board with it. You don't have to stick with one of these. For my own article, I think I'm going to go with a medium sized one, one where it has 12 to 18 H2 and H3 headings. And then if need be, we can always add more later. Your next step is to provide the content wizard with a list of URLs for images that are already existing on your website. Now, in theory, you could link out to Unsplash or some other royalty-free images, but if something goes wrong and those URLs change, then the images are going to break on your website. So again, I recommend just using ones that are already within your database. Now, if you don't have any images on your website and you just want to skip this section, by all means, just tell the content wizard that you want to skip it and it'll move you on to the next step. I've provided ChatGPT with the list of all of the images that I wanted to include. And then within parentheses, I've also described what those images are, just so that it has some more additional context and it can lead into those images in a more natural way. The descriptions will also come in handy because ChatGPT will be able to take that information and create alt text for the images that you've provided. And then your last step before actually writing the content is to provide ChatGPT with a link to an article that's already ranking well on your site. 
And again, it doesn't have to be an article. It could be a product page if you're trying to write a product description. So I'm going to include a link to an article that I wrote on how to write amazing content with ChatGPT. And now it's going to crawl and analyze that page and follow a very similar format for the article that we're going to be writing together. ChatGPT is finished and it's ensuring us that it gathered enough information to create the content brief based off of the content that's already existing on our website. So we have our medium length content outline that features between 12 and 18 H2 and H3 headings based on the keyword that I've provided. And it's also reminding us that it's going to include various elements like tables, lists, quotes, key takeaways, FAQs, and incorporate the internal links and images that we provided to it. And this is going to be great because now we no longer have to do that through manual input. It's going to do it right from the start. Go over your content outline and make sure that it matches exactly what you would want to include on your website. If it doesn't, tweak it now. But mine looks pretty good, so I'm just going to go ahead with it. And I'm going to show you the process of actually creating the article. I've asked the content wizard to start by just writing the introduction. And the reason I'm not just jumping in and having it write the entire article is because I want to read it and make sure that it aligns with my vision. Now, if it doesn't match the style of output that you're looking for, be sure to go in and make that modification and then tell ChatGPT to take this into consideration before proceeding into the next sections. But I like what it wrote, and then I also like its explanation for what it wrote. This introduction sets the stage for an in-depth exploration of AI tools and content generation, emphasizing their growing importance in shaping modern content strategies. Would you like to proceed to the next section or make any adjustments to this part? So again, if you do want to make adjustments, now's your chance to do so. But if you're like me and you like it, just go ahead and click proceed. I've continued with the next section, and with this section, it's actually gone ahead and it's added some of the formattings that I've requested. It's giving us a bullet point breakdown of the key benefits of AI and content creation, time efficiency, consistency and quality, and SEO enhancement. And then a little further down, it's also giving us another breakdown of how AI enhances content strategies for data-driven insights, content diversity, and competitive edge. And it's identified that this is also a great place to include an image on pillar and cluster topics. Right below our image of topic clusters, we have figure one in illustrating showing what topic clusters look like when using a pillar and cluster format and is crucial for AI driven content strategies. So it took the context that I wrote and it rewrote it and made it about AI content strategies, which is overall what this article is about. So I would go ahead and I would include that as a description of this image once I re-upload it to the website. And then just below that, we have a breakdown of what ChatGPT was thinking as it was writing this section. So you can go ahead and make sure that, again, it aligns with your vision of this article. Now I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the next couple of sections. And then after I'm done, I'm going to show you what the final results look like. The SEO content wizard finished. And now I have a featured image, which it helped me create. I went ahead and I embedded some YouTube videos. Now, I didn't include this throughout the processes because I imagine most people don't have a YouTube page. However, you can go ahead and do so. We also have a table with the key findings for each section. And as we go through this, you'll also notice that we have the other images that ChatGPT recommended. And here's another image that Dolly3, that's built into ChatGPT, created in order to describe the processes that we've been covering. And lastly, the content wizard also generated a meta title and a meta description. Now built into its instructions, it knows not to go over 60 characters for the title and 160 characters for the meta description, and they should both include a relevant SEO keyword. All right, guys, I hope that you like this video. Let me know how you make out with your own processes using the SEO content wizard. Again, I've included a link for the GPT in both the description and in the comments section.
If you have any questions, just let me know and I'd be happy to help. This is going to be my processes for writing content in the future, and I don't imagine it's going to change until maybe GPT-5 comes out and completely revolutionizes the way that we're doing it once again. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give it a thumbs up anyway. I really appreciate your support. And until next time, this is Todd.